Hello Pisces, Amy Energy here with a tarot message for you. If you have not, please take a moment to subscribe. Let's get into your reading here. Thank you angels for revealing what we need to know for Pisces. All placements of Pisces. Please use your own intuition. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Pisces, your strength right now is the princess of summer, gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to a social event, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. You could be this compassionate friend. This is your strength here, Pisces, and what you're moving through right now is the world a brilliant success the freedom to go in any direction a journey that is now complete i see you here you know in your butterfly form with your butterfly wings i feel like you are a friend to the world you could be starting a new journey you're very open-hearted right now pisces and with the aid of winter this is the challenge you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself thinking that you are powerless when you are not a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Okay, Pisces, let's expand upon these messages. Please do give this video a thumbs up and let's see, angels. What else does Pisces need to know? All right. Something is struggling to come together here. Two of Wands. I feel like you're waiting here. You're waiting. You're being very strong, very resilient in this energy, but there's something here that I feel like you've been distracted from, and there is a tower moment coming, and I feel like something is, you know, because we're not acting, something is going to happen here. All right, Queen of Swords. Well, okay, I feel like someone here maybe had turned their back on you in the past. They're they're kind of ruminating on that right now. And I feel like they're going to be, you know, even thinking more deeply on it as we move into the future. Somebody here, there could have been romantic feelings. They could have taken their romantic feelings elsewhere. And they may have tried to justify that here with the Queen of Swords. And they may justify still they might have a lot of reasons why they're not reaching out to you so it looks like you could be kind of at this stalemate with this other person it could be you that turned your back on them but there's unfinished business here and it is keeping you from fully embracing the new path strength is your advice so you know you are being very resilient right now and that is your advice Okay, but mm, the devil here, there's something that you could be obsessing over, something, an area of your life where you could be working too hard. I see you kind of pulling back your energy resources from a situation. All right. Let's look at our blockages, blind spot, and best advice because I definitely feel with that devil, I want to get into that. Okay, so what are the blockages for my Pisces? Four of Wands. Okay, so I feel like we're not wanting to get out of our comfort zone. We had this judgment in the past, and with the High Priestess, I feel like we know something, but we're not sharing. And I feel like we could be sharing a little bit of something here in the future, but maybe it's going to create a little waves. And that's why you're not wanting to get out of your comfort zone. It could feel vulnerable as well. You could feel like you don't really have the words in your toolbox that you need to say something here. In your blind spot is Ace of Wands. There's this new beginning. Okay, there's that Knight of Cups again. This could be someone who you walked away from and then they went the other way as well. Um, both of you could have been avoiding this conflict, but I feel like there is still this like passion burning that's in your blind spot. Okay, so this is creating quite a challenge for you. It's a challenge here for my Pisces to be able to 
assert their will because you're kind of avoiding something that you want. And I feel like, yeah, somebody else here is like mirroring you doing the same thing, maybe in a little bit of a different energy. But best advice is the chariot. So I do feel like our advice here was strength. And I still pulled best advice here for this spread because I just really felt like this message was going to come through. And here it is. It's like we need to take a step back. There's something that we're doing, but we need to take a step back and observe like the way we're doing it. We could be doing something the hard way instead of the easy way because we're getting too stuck in our mind here with this seven of swords okay something may have felt too good to be true here in the past but it was your wish fulfillment and i feel like the answer is that we have to get over this being stuck in the mind so that we can get into this full energy and take a risk okay that knight of cups wanted to come out again here pisces Wow, let's get some Oracle cards. We have the Airmail Oracle here by Sarah Stassi. I do have a link in her um, for her Etsy store in my description box. All right, let's get some messages here. Oh, look, we got three cards coming out. I'm going to take them. We got Be Sweet, Catch Up, and Take Notes. Wow, very interesting here. I feel really strongly here like you and another person can take notes from one another I feel like if you approach a situation with sweetness there could be something from the recent past that we're catching up on all right let's get one more card here And this doesn't have to be romantic, although it does look pretty passionate for some of you. Treasuring these lessons, education, Lauren Hill. So don't stay stuck on the past. I want to really stress that message. Um, don't stay stuck on any past person, any person in particular, but there is a lesson here. So that's why this is coming up in this reading, because it's not something to necessarily ignore, right? We can take notes here. We can learn something. And I do feel like if somebody does come around with communication or if you feel called to communicate with someone, um, I feel like there's no reason here why you shouldn't be sweet, right? And be sweet is kind of one of my least favorite cards because a lot I feel like we don't really need to be sweet we need to be real and authentic and that's not always sweet but in this situation I feel like there's no reason you wouldn't be sweet in a situation because that is what is authentic that's what this card is saying um and I feel like maybe you need to catch up also spiritually to things that you've learned here Pisces you've learned a lot of things but are you believing in yourself? Because we have this eight of winter that came out and that is the challenge. The challenge is you believing in yourself. You are not powerless and you know, your confidence is going to take you far. It's going to help you take the steps, assert your will and go in the direction of your heart because all the wand cards equal out to a seven, four, five, six, seven. And we got the seven, the chariot. And I feel like you're one step ahead of yourself and you're being so strong, so resilient, um, but you could like be in the wrong location. You might need to take a step back, get in your chariot and get to the location where you're meant to do this work. Okay. Very interesting messages for you today. And we have... Erica Badu on the bottom of the deck, mystery. All right, so that's a very good Pisces, Erica Badu. Get a little dreamy. All right, Pisces, so listen to Erica Badu, listen to Lauren Hill. Whatever messages or whatever songs that you listen to, there will be messages, additional messages in those songs that you needed to hear. Whatever moment you are in, Pisces, know it is a magical moment because you are there. Until we meet again, I love you. Take care.